Former U.S. President Donald Trump has pleaded not guilty to charges of conspiring to overturn his defeat in the 2020 election. Trump flew in by a private plane for the court appearance. This is the third set of criminal charges he faces and is seen as the most serious. It's not clear whether it could derail his efforts to run to return to the White House in 2024. The judge set the next hearing for August 28. TW correspondent Stefan Simons is on the story for us and joins us from the court where Trump pleaded not guilty just minutes ago. Stefan, what else do we know about Trump's court appearance? Well, we know what happened outside here, and that is actually not much. But let me step out of the picture for a second to get you a feel for what this is. So again, as you see here, court building, and what you then see also is a massive amount of press, satellite trucks, reporters, cameramen, and so on from everywhere around the country, even uh, from around the world uh, here to see what was happening here. And what was happening here was historic and unprecedented. Why? Because these charges, the third indictment, as you said, this arraignment, this arrest, this processing of a former president, this is all because the federal special counsel, a prosecutor special counsel, charged a sitting, formerly sitting president with criminal actions while he was a president just up the street, being more or less responsible for the January 6th uh, incursion in the Capitol, which is right there, a few blocks away. So you can actually really spit or walk there, right? Um, very interesting. And just for background, in this building, not only Donald Trump was arraigned there today and shortly arrested, then arraigned, now let go, and he's on his way to the airport. And there's some news there. He's expected to speak before he goes back on board of his Trump airplane. Um, but in this courtroom also, 600, 600 people who... Uh, were part of the incursion in and broke into the Capitol building, were actually also seeing a judge here and were found guilty to some degree or another. In total, 1,100 people were charged with crimes from January 6th. 600 had their moment there and went, most of them, to prison. So this is where we are right now as the pre former president, Donald Trump, is heading back to his plane and then back to Badminton, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Now, before Trump left, there were supporters there, of course, and also a lot of people who would like to see him behind bars. How did they react when he arrived? Well, first of all, they actually didn't see him arriving. Actually, nobody saw him arriving because that happened behind the building on the other side, right? Uh, but you are absolutely right. What we had here before, about an hour ago, was like two parts or two two uh, uh, sides of the street. On one side, the, the crowd who said, yes, Donald Trump, nothing faces them. They don't care how many times the former president gets indicted. They want to see their president in the White House again in 2024. And then the other crowd, of course, saying, hey, lock him up. He doesn't deserve to be president again. So don't even let him become the candidate for the GOP, for the Republican Party. He deserves to be locked up. Well, there you go. Uh, if he is being found guilty here, the prosecution, the federal special counsel here, they want a speedy trial. But there is the, you know, this is the tricky part. How speedy can this be when you next year have a election, a presidential election, and how does this interfere? How do you schedule this? Uh, what is the political implication of all this? All of those are questions which are unanswered because why? This is uncharted territory, literally historic, unprecedented, uncharted. I know we're using those words often, but it's actually, <laughs> that's it. And Trump's legal team is very much seeking to delay the trial. In this case, that was DW correspondent Stefan Simons. Thank you so much.